Well, earlier we told you about the German military ships that have rescued 200 more migrants in the Mediterranean Sea. For more on the migrant crisis, let's speak to Philippe Farg in Florence. Philippe is the founding director of the Migration Policy Center. You must be uh, quite dismayed at the news of uh, the German military having to rescue uh, more migrants. Well, the, the, the good news is rescuing people, you know. Thousands of people died trying to reach Europe, and many more are in waiting in Libya. Will Europe let it continue? And it's good to know that now a clear no came from Brussels. Uh, two options are on the table. One is preventing the crossing by destroying the boats on the Libyan coast, and the other one is making the crossing safe by intercepting the boats at sea as close as possible to the Libyan shore. The first option, and I'm afraid it will be the preferred one, has clear drawbacks. It's a military intervention. It needs to be approved by the UN. It's a blind operation. What boats are you going to destroy? The fishermen's boat in Libya? And uh, what is more important, I think, it leaves the migrants and refugees in Libya at the mercy of militias with no prospect for international protection. So it's a wrong option. The second option, amounts to creating safe corridors between Libya and Europe. And the problem is, what will you do with the migrants once uh, they are on board on an EU vessel? You have to bring them to the EU, but is uh, the European Union ready to do this? But that is the question, uh, Philippe, that is being asked. That is the question that is being asked and, in fact, debated among EU countries themselves. What do yeah. you expect to see in the uh, new EU agenda on migration that is going to be published later this week? I expect that search and rescue at sea will continue, will be extended, and will go until, I think, the, 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 the Libyan international waters. I also expect that quotas to distribute the migrants among EU member states will be adopted, meaning that the burden of people arriving at sea will not be only on the shoulders of two or three countries like Greek, Greece, Malta and Italy, but distributed among the 28 member states. So this is what I hope on this. I also hope that new channels for safe uh, asylum will be, uh, will be open. And also, perhaps, the uh, new agenda will, uh, will deal with the issue of reopening Europe to economic migration. So uh, many uh, good things could come from the next uh, EU Council on Thursday. Uh, Philippe Farg, joining us from Florence, thank you very much for talking to us on Al Jazeera. Well, to a migrant crisis now on the other side of the world and two boats carrying at least...